Okay, so last night I uploaded a video talking about trying to uh, center this new scope right here. And um, in it I mentioned there were some things that kept me from doing that. And uh, some that I knew about, some that I didn't know about. This is one that I know about. And this plot problem has plagued me on more than one pellet gun. And um, it's just something that you have to learn. So, <clears throat> and I'm still learning it. You know, in the big scheme of things, a pellet gun can be viewed into two essential things. You've got a stock, and you've got everything that's not the stock, okay? Um, and uh, which barrel, cylinder, assembly, whatever. But the way the stock is attached to, which is, this is a wooden or composite component, and of course this is metal. So the way these are attached, it's going to be some kind of fastener up front, uh, like uh, across when I had, I had two bolts on either side that went up. This hot sign uses, uh, to me, a fairly unique system. And it's one bolt that goes straight through. Then if you cock it, you'll see that the uh, armature here kind of dips right there. So you can kind of see it compensates for that. Um, and then, more critically, you've got this one screw right here that attaches... Uh, through the trigger housing here up into that. So, uh, and it's accessed through this hole right here. So, if any of these get loose, the the mechanics of the gun move around and float around in the stock, and that can obviously make your stuff not accurate. So, I've heard these are pretty soft. That's tight. I'm, I'm putting pressure there, and it's tight. This is a smaller screw and I can see it's missing some bluing, so I know it's been serviced. That's tight. So that leaves us with this. And yesterday, and let's put this in here, see what I get. Oh, I can actually, yeah, I can tighten that some. I can tighten that quite a bit, in fact. Um, I need to back this out. Let's just go ahead and do it. Um, I did this two nights ago, three nights ago. I took this out, cleaned it, and um, used blue Loctite, let it dry for 48 hours, and it did not hold. It did not hold. So I'm going to do it again. Um, see if I can hold this up here. And you can see, I can't even see the blue Loctite on there for the most part. But I'm going to clean this really good, and I'm going to clean that really good, and see if I can't get to hold a little bit better. But that's that's what was making the, the barrel will slop around because of that. Also, you've got these, and those are firm. I blue Loctite of these, and those are all good. So this is the issue right here. So when your shots start to wander and whatnot, check this. Make sure everything's tight, and uh, otherwise you're just... Wasting your time in pellets, which is what I did yesterday.